working with conversions in this video we're going to be converting inches and centimeters we're going to begin very quickly showing how to convert inches to centimeters to begin we're going to convert 8 inches into centimeters now we're going to introduce our conversion factor an inch equals 2.54 centimeters we use this because it is exact now to set up the problem we have our conversion factor we're going to turn our conversion factor into a fraction and we're going to move over here to our board and we're going to multiply our conversion factor into 8 inches notice what we're converting to is on top 2.54 centimeters uh, over 1 inch what we're trying to do is we're going to insert one label to cancel the other label out so we have the inches that cancel out now we're left with just the 8 times 2.54 centimeters and we multiply across so that's our solution 20.32 centimeters is equal to 8 inches now let's come from the other side let's convert the centimeters to inches convert 20.32 centimeters into inches again we have the problem here we're gonna set it up beginning by introducing our conversion factor we're gonna turn our conversion factor into a fraction and we're gonna multiply it into our given okay here we go moving to our board we're multiplying the conversion factor noticing that the inches are now on top because that's what we're converting to the centimeters cancel out and we're going to clean up this problem seeing now that's that that's what's left is just multiplying we're going to multiply those inches over and we're going to divide by 2.54 that gives us the inches and our solution so 20.32 centimeters equals 8 inches now for those that still don't understand you may be asking well how did you do that <laughs> let's go back through the example we have 8 inches that we're going to convert into how many centimeters there are four points to make and I'm going to go step by step showing you how I set up the problem the first point you have to understand any number multiplied or divided by one will not change that number here's the example if you multiply a number by one the product is that number eight times one is eight if you divide a number by one the quotient is that number here's an example eight divided by one is eight so moving to our board as we set the problem up we have the 8 inches times 1 now we move on to our next point fractions are another form of division so here's some examples we have 10 divided by 1 means the same as 10 the fraction bar and 1 they both mean 10 divided by 1 so this forward slash or the fraction bar also means division so you'll see those as fractions or ratios so we move back to our board as we're building up the conversion problem we have 8 inches times 1 over 1 now we go to our third point any number divided by itself the quotient will be 1 very quickly here's the example any of uh, 10 divided by 10 equals 1 we use the fraction bar or the forward slash earlier to represent a uh, division so now we have 10 over 10 equals 1 and we see here that dividing one inch by another inch equals 1 so here's our fourth point that we're going to bring in which is our conversion factor 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters exact so we have 1 inch equal to 2.54 centimeters we can divide those and get one because they're pretty much the same value because we see they're equal to each other so 
one inch divided by 2.54 centimeters is equal to 2.54 centimeters divided by one inch. It is the same. They're both equal to one. Thus, the main point of, conver of converting is to understand you're multiplying or dividing by one to change a label. So back to our board where we're building our problem. We have eight inches times one divided by one. Now understanding the top part is multiplication. The bottom part of the fraction is division. So now we're going to in insert our conversion factor because all we're doing is just multiplying and dividing by one. We're not changing the value. We have our conversion factor. We're going to turn it into a fraction. What we're converting to being on top because that's just one. Getting back to our board, we already we already have the ones in there. We're just going to put in our conversion factor. Noticing what we're converting to is on top. What we're trying to do again is insert one label to cancel another label. We want to remove the inches because we're converting to centimeters. People say, okay, I still don't understand. Why do the inches cancel out? Well, just think of the inch as the number one. And we're going to put that in here. Multiplying or dividing by one is not going to change the problem. Point two, the fractions are just another form of division. Point three, any number divided by itself, the quotient will be one. Earlier we mentioned that one inch divided by one inch is equal to one. So by having these numbers in the problem of we can easily take them out because they're going to cancel each other out anyway. So the inches cancel out because they're being divided against each other. We have just the eight times 2.54 centimeters. We multiply across and here's our solution 20.32 centimeters is equal to eight inches. That's our problem. Thanks. You take care.